So we're going to talk about some coins that look pretty awesome in this dip. So hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Now if you're panicking, we're going to talk about some stuff in terms of market structure. But if you are new, please do subscribe with the bell button, leave a like and a comment as always. Now, market structure, we're going to talk about a weekly time frame looks pretty good on most coins. You know, this is obviously USD. But we are forming a nice series, well, higher lows and higher highs, right? Very, very obvious to see. A lot of coins look like this, even on the BTC pair, USD pair alone as well, looking tickety-boo, right? So in terms of this, if you are new to this channel, I will teach you something relatively obvious. Now, you've got an uptrend where essentially what we're looking at is a very, very obvious trend formation like this, right? It's where we're currently pulling back right now. In my opinion, we are pulling back on a lot of things and they all look the same. So if we're looking at even, you know, that one doesn't class. But when you keep looking through, you start seeing, as you can allude to, we've got a load of highs and they're coming back down. Now, it depends on what you go for and what you're looking at, but some stuff does look pretty good, apart from that one pretty good overall right so you've got to be careful you've got to be selected but in this video there is seven driven coins that do look pretty good in terms of this dip in structure that you may well want to keep an eye on certainly if you are thinking long term which we will come on to in a minute but we've got to look at the facts here this market is bullish and if you've not seen this chart from yesterday if it does load there we go so essentially i did a chart yesterday right if i go to log scale you'll see it Hello, boom, right. So we, in my honest opinion, are in obviously bull market. Yeah, bear market, bull market, right? If you look at the weekly time frame, you'll see it in a lot more detail. There we go, happy days, right? So if this is a log scale, technically, this is kind of what's happened in the past, right? We've had this monster upward, bear market, and then we're now we're in this bull market. I believe we're gonna carry on till May, June. I mentioned that yesterday, okay? But when you start looking at all these coins, they've all formed series of highs, right? No matter who you are, what you are, what you do in life, right? If you are looking at these charts, they're all looking pretty good, right? They've got to pull back, though. They've got to pull back. Look at that, right to that top level. Pretty awesome to see from that pullback. Pretty good. So just be careful of what the beliefs are and what you see on social media, other YouTubers, just sprouting out bollocks, basically. So just be careful, right? But we are going to talk basic stuff, right? So I want to talk about the dominance chart very, very quickly. This is currently, in my opinion, on a war path going down to 52%. Yes, it's pulled back a little bit from this dip. You know why. Everything's red. People are taking profits. When those impulse waves happen, and what I explained before... When you start looking at like the BTC pair of certain things, it's formed a high. When you start looking at the, the daily time frame, it's formed a new high. A lot of coins, as I said before, are starting to show highs and they're pulling back and they're going to go off again, right? In my opinion. So when we look at the likes of Ethereum on USD pair, I personally believe we're pulling back into a potential range. Maybe this, this previous all-time high level, who knows, in and around this region. And then we're potentially going to 23,000, 2,500, right? Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? So, coins. Harmony. Number one is harmony. Funny enough, that. So, when we're talking about dips and market cycles and changes in the sequence of a dip, we've got to look at this one, right? For, for real obvious purposes, let's just look at this in Teva. It's had a huge pump and it's going to pull back, right? If we're looking at a potential area to enter this, we could be not that far away, realistically. Just be careful though. Fundamental news, do your research. But a lot of people wanted me to cover this when it was up here. It's like, oh, talk about one, talk about how many. It's amazing. This, that, the other. Wait for it to pull back. It's just in a monster move, man. So many people come onto my Telegram or onto my comments and whatever on social media and go, why aren't you covering this? Well, because it's probably just done an absolute monster move. Why would I want to feature something to make it go even higher potentially? I don't want to wreck people. So there may well be a great little order here. When we start looking at pullbacks, the next move could actually be very, very interesting. Now, it doesn't look like much when you start thinking about it, but it's a big move. That is a big move and a big pullback. So if you are in the red on this, 
you've probably bought at the wrong time. Simple as that. But still bullish structure, technically. Moving on to the next coin is Chili's. Another one that has been absolutely ragged to the bone in terms of social media influence. Now, again, very, very simple. I'm not only going to focus on the USD charts because I confuse people with, uh, you know, BTC pairs. Again, it's below the EMAs. If we're going to go from the absolute bottom here, this one looks in a much more sweeter spot. We may well see a reaction in and around this level very, very soon. In my opinion, just keep an eye on it. 37 cents could be quite interesting. But again, you know, you don't want to buy these 97 or $94, uh, $94, 94 cent levels. And people do. This is where the exhaustion is. And obviously, oof, huge amount. And if you like spot trading, by the way, spot investing, owning the underlying asset. Let's just say, for example, you bought 85 cents, right? Random number. And you are out of pocket 51% right now. Oh, it hurts so much. I mean, you don't have to get, you don't have to use leverage to get wrecked, boys and girls. You really don't. It's FOMO. So Chili's looks pretty awesome as a dipping point. The next coin, Kusama. Yes, I hold a little bit of this. But again, power chains are coming out soon, rolling out very, very soon. It's a very, in my opinion, a very, very healthy dip. When we look at Kusama, I think we're on my watch list here. We have. It's looking pretty awesome. Again, it's in a monstrous trend, starting to go below that moving average, but it still looks absolutely fine, in my opinion. If we're going to go from this point here, obvious bottom area, you know, yeah, it could go a lot lower. It could find this level of structure here, but at the end of the day, it could go much, much higher. Parachains are coming out very, very soon on the auction, so it's definitely worth looking at fundamental-wise, and a lot of people are very, very excited about this, but there is so many levels of structure that could be pinpointed very, very quickly as a level of interest. This one again, in and around this region, it's been a level support on there. So we may not dip as far as we expect, but it, you never know. There's been a liquidity grab in and around here, so we may well dip a little bit lower towards that $400 level. But yeah, to me, even if it sends from this level, around this level, still bullish, still bullish. If that forms a new high from here, phew, Basically, I'll be a god, but yeah, it's basic, basic structure. Next one, Luna. Luna. Again, very, very strong fundamentals. Really good project, in my opinion. Done very, very well. I recommended this in my group at 30 cents. Did I buy it? No, I didn't. Idiot. I bought other things, which did just as well, to be honest with you. Moving on, though, it looks pretty damn awesome. Again, looking at market structure, very, very simple. Look at that. Perfect, right? Why is it perfect? It's had a monster impulse and it is pulling back nicely. So just keep an eye on it. Yes, we may well see some confluence between this level here and we do, which is good. So this impulse down, pull back, retest. Wouldn't shock me in the slightest if we've seen $11 at some point in the future. Who knows? Depends on Bitcoin. But that being said, no one wants to buy $22. People want the discount, and the discount is starting to come in. This is a bull market, remember? Please remember that. And again, if you zoom out, you see solid chart structure. So again, we may well find that this, again, if we're looking at basic sort of symmetry here, it depends on how you want to read this or look at this, but you may well find that this could still dip quite a bit aggressively, but still be absolutely fine in terms of market structure overall. Very, very rubbish trend line. I do apologize. Moving on to the next one. And one that kind of is very, very obvious, in my opinion, is, again, that whole Metcalf's law. More and more people get into the market, want to buy cryptocurrency coins. Voyager looks pretty decent. I don't hold this, but at the end of the day, it's had a nice move, but it has actually, you know, stabilized pretty nicely. If we are looking at VGX, if I've got it on here, or BQ, is it BQX on? Yeah, it is, isn't it? BQX on Binance. Bosh. Got some old fibs there. So we're looking at this. Again, it's looking, in my opinion, pretty decent. Yes, there's a level of support here, which has to be taken into consideration. If we're looking all the way across here, that could be a very, very interesting level. And we'll see what happens. But for me, more and more people that use this, and yeah, the RSI is starting to take an upward turn. So it may well reverse from this point. But if we're looking at overall market structure from this level here alone, you know, just below or in and around that 618 level, this could be sent from this point, but it's had a huge pump, huge monstrous move. It's got to pull back and it has, it's pulled back quite nicely into a nice little support level. So again, just keep an eye on it. It could be very, very interesting. Ave, 
another one a huge pump it's been consolidating for quite a while now as well so it could be of interest certainly with the DeFi market it could get more and more eyeballs but fundamentals are clear more and more people put money into a well the more interesting it's going to get and again looking at this this is a fibonacci level it's been in and around this region as i say seems to be consolidating in a range right now which is looking pretty interesting from this low to this high in and around support levels 50 percent may drop lower may drop even now to 260 60 odd dollars but we'll see but fundamentals are clear more and more people are going to be interesting but yes it is in a downtrend but this may well be the, the, the change, the reversal point. And we start to look at the RSI, starting to trickle up a little bit. May well find that we're actually, from a lower standpoint, we may well find that this 600 levels here may well send it. If it breaks structure and it goes beyond this point, it's going to start getting more and more bullish. And it will probably end up taking the high out at some point. Who knows? And the last one, reserve rights. Why? This has had a nice run. It also had a nice dip and mainnet is coming out very, very soon. Not too long. I believe there'll be an announcement on that. Again, simple lines. It looks pretty decent overall. Again, we've had a little bit of a rejection, but at the end of the day, there's still a huge amount of obvious higher lows here all the way across the board here. So even still, even if this doesn't break, as long as it doesn't break below this level here, I think this will be absolutely fine. If we're looking right the way across, levels of structure all the way across there. Very, very simple, right? If we're looking at this pinpoint level of precision, i.e. wick to wick, we may well find it on a key level, and we do. Six or eight levels on the today at the moment, right? If this does find support, and then we go from this point, we're going to form a new high, go over 10 cents technically. But we've got that level there. That level is important. And so is this level that it's currently in and around on where this wick is. Basically, this wick all the way across, penetration all the way through. It's going to be very, very important. So, again, there we go. Simple, simple stuff. Don't panic. It's easy. You know, chart structure, it is still in a bullish trend. Technically, overall, it will need to take out that high, though, if it wants to continue, long as it doesn't fall lower. Anyways, hope you enjoy. Stop panicking. See you later.